Hello guys, in the previous video, we made uh, portal effects using Niagara and I uh, also received some questions about how can we keep them open and close when we want. So in this video, I will show you how to control the portal. Okay, now we have this portal effects. If you just want to control the portal duration, you can change the left time in Niagara. You can see the left time is 15. If you want to it faster, you can set it to 5. You can see now it's faster. In the level. It's also faster. Also, we can make it slower. 100. This is the way if you just want to control the portal duration. And if you want to control the portal effect open and close when we want, we can change the dynamic material parameters. First, let's copy the Niagara emitter. Let's copy two and rename these emitters. The first is open to control the portal open. Second, it's loop it's loop and the third it's close to control the portal close now we can change the parameters let's set the key data is uh, one to the end and uh, this is also one also we need to fix the curve the dissolve we don't uh, use it because it's open so let's set it one and the width also the key data is one the layer size is one now we can see it's uh, open and uh, set the left time three we can see the effect is open just open okay let's make the curve is linear I now it's a uh, linear we can see it's just open okay now let's set the loop the loop is also we can see the end data is one two two point five let's set the one two 2.5 also we need to delete the slayer mesh size now it's a loop always loop also we need to change the spawn time left time is three so we need to spawn the loop when the open emitter end so the spawn time is the three two okay three is not work let's set it to 2.95 okay now let's set the closing meter also we don't use the slayer mesh size and the uv and width one two two point five the dissolve key data is zero to one and the spawn time is the uh, loop end oh so let's set the loop left time is uh, five this is three five with eight and uh, set it the uh, spawn time is uh, 7.95 let's see okay it's work we can see it in the level Yes, now we can control it open and close when we want. Also, we can use the user parameters. Let's 
create a float. Let's set the open lifetime with the user parameters and set it to 3. The loop spawn time is also used the open duration, just to add. Add negative 0 0.05 and the loop duration is 5. The close spawn time is add and add. It's open duration and loop duration and negative 0 0.05. Zero five. In the end, set the close duration. Okay, now we have. Okay, now we can control the portal open and close by this user parameters. We can set the open duration is one and the loop duration is two. Close duration is one. Yes, this is more convenient. This portal effect is also this portal effect is also can use this way to control them open and close. Okay, I forgot one thing that we need to set the loop behavior is once. Also, it's once, and set the loop duration is. Uh, This parameters add. Okay, set it for each emitters. In this way, the portal effect won't keep spawning loops. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.